well, I'm just seeing a TV ads every five minutes. And she said, well, that's the LA market, and those ads are cheap. <laughs> right, and the DVD just came out this week. Yeah. Uh, Ad H had a terrific article this week in which uh, they cited the number $50 million as the current amount being spent on all Oscar campaigns. Ten years ago, I remember the number in Variety was $75 million. And in those days, that money was being split between the trades, pretty much, and the and Q and A's and whatever else was going on. Now, if there is a smaller pie, if it's fifty million dollars, and now there there's Deadline Hollywood, Gold Derby, the envelope. There's there's Hollywood Report. Every, everybody's got to now share this money. Of uh, there's less money in the game. We saw Hurt Locker win last year on a budget of three million dollars. That's a far cry from the twenty million dollars that was spent on Gladiator and Saving Private Ryan and Shakespeare in Love years ago. Well, here's it, what I wonder. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say, why would the studios be protective of that number? Like, why do they care if that number is out? Because they're just paranoid proprietary. Yes. Yeah. Looks like you're buying. <laughs> oh, I think it, I think it could appear like you're buying an Oscar. Actually, I know other campaigns are trying to use figures inflated. I, I swear this is true. Somebody from another movie said, "Do you know how much the social network is spending?" And I said, "How much?" Seventy million dollars. <laughs> I said seventy million dollars. There is no way. They said, "Quote: Sir Howard Stringer is willing to spend all the profits to win an Oscar." And I'm, and you know, of course, like they're baiting me, trying to get me to write that kind of thing, which I wouldn't do. Of course, I just repeated it here. But, um, <laughs> but it's ludicrous. Anybody, right? You know, <laughs> don't tell anyone, will you? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's. I just bring it up as an example of of. of, of using money in a negative way. I mean, it's perceived that if you're spending all this, an Academy member, and we have some out here in the audience, you know, probably might go like, well, I'm not going, you can overdo, Diana Ross famously lost an Oscar for Lady Sings the Blues by over campaigning, by having Barry Gordy, Gordy take all these ads every single day. I, I, don't, I don't want to make this too, too wonky, but uh, it, there's another uh, factor. A lot of these movies are in release, and so the money that, w w is the money Promoting the release, or is it promoting the academy uh, cam campaign? It's, it's but they all one and the same. It's right. Right. Well, they they bury it. They bury it in uh, these so-called DVD release uh, parties and DVD release uh, campaigns are really Oscar campaigns, but they're they're charging it off to right. the right. home right. video right. divisions. And, and it's things. just, I mean, uh, some of it. Sometimes it might be that uh, if they didn't spend it, they might have to spend it on profit participation. I don't know. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> no, really. I mean, it's hey, look, we all learned last year that campaigning may not matter at all, as my dear friend Monique proved. <laughs> 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 right? After all that, she was saying, mm, I'm not going anywhere unless you pay me. And, and That's uh, true. And who's reading the Academy Award nominations this year? Mm -hmm. well, well, how much your friend? Uh, in terms of uh, effect per penny spent, uh, I think Julia Roberts endorsing beautiful was uh, effective. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you take that uh, and compare it with a, an ad in, in uh, oh, some other publication, uh, <laughs> y you probably got more from Julia because it, it morphed and, and it was uh, Facebooked. And, and we see a lot of these money-saving uh, uh, innovations like iTunes screeners and, and Q&As that are, that are promulgated uh, over the internets. Uh, uh, and then tweeted God knows how many times and, and Facebooked unto eternity, uh, it's a lot cheaper than, than a traditional Oscar campaign and, and it might have a bigger hit. So but I don't think Javier Bardem will get nominated. Like it, it will end up being a nice gesture. What, are you for, trying to break my heart? I know, for her Eat, Pray, Love, mm -hmm. Ghost Dog. I don't think he's going to get nominated though. So I'm, I'm sticking with him to the bitter end because <laughs> it's a kind of performance that actors, who are the ones voting here, um, if they see it, that's the key. This is a very hard movie to watch. I do think he could get nominated, but it's a long shot. There's no he's question about it. He's on the bubble, wouldn't you say? I would say he's on the bubble, yes. <laughs> but I don't think he is like a surefire lock. No right? way. No, you're absolutely he's right. Little, yeah, you just log through beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of the beautiful uh, people see um, movies in the Academy, it's no dirty secret, on DVD. They don't go out to the screenings. A great majority of them only watch it that way, and that movie is a very difficult movie to watch on DVD. It's easy to get distracted, turn it off, feel like this is too hard, too dark. And I, I've talked to many members who have turned it off, unfortunately. I think it's sad. And the race is beginning to be transformed just now. Uh, within a year, everyone is going to have iTunes screeners. And so what is what kind of performance is that going to benefit? If you're watching this performance on your, you know, on your keychain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way movies were meant to be right. seen. There's new options somewhere. <laughs> see it, so. And there have been, well, I can't reveal it, but there have been discussions of a heated nature uh, among marketing people about uh, what kind of 
images you put out there, what kind of uh, clips you put out there to push a movie, uh, how do you fit uh, the number of cast members that it would be politic uh, and effective to put in a traditional uh, clip on uh, an iPhone? Yeah. It's, it's going to be tricky, and it's going to change the race, and it's, I think it's going to change the way movies are made, and the problems with the close-up, it's going to change a lot of things. Maybe it'll be less 3D, though. That might be the upside of iPhone movies, <laughs> less 3D. Until, I, until <laughs> iPhones become 3D and car wrecks yeah. pile up on Of course, cars. most of these so-called Oscar movies are not really 3D. I mean, I did not see Rabbit Hole in 3D. Oh, I did. You did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the car is coming at me. <laughs> that, that punch. Yeah. That punch. But I'm not a fan of 3D, but yeah. that's another side, you know. That's another discussion. <laughs> so can anything beat Social Network for Best Picture, Christy? I like the splitting votes theory you guys are, are floating here, that like Social Network and King's Speech might split votes and maybe what? Let's one? Could be. Okay. The fighter. I hear groaning going on here. With the um, fighter, it's a possibility. The, uh, the Black Swan <laughs> is a possibility. If we, if we have these camps, these strong votes, it could happen, right? You know what's sad is that it won't be Inception. I love Inception so much. Cool. It's so amazing. But the Inception problem is very interesting. It's, it's if you look on, uh, oh, my old, employer Amazon and, and IMDb, my neighbors, uh, I was the one who recommended that they buy IMDb and I think it was a good decision. Um, <laughs> but they it. love that. They love Inception and they, they, they it's, it's just down, uh, they, that is a very hardcore and growing audience and influential and yet, is it influential in the Oscar race? Is it as influential, is that going to, in future Oscar races, is, would Inception do better? I mean, figure it'll do really well. Technically, you know, sound editing. It's going to have big numbers of nominations, no question about it. But whether it can sneak it, what about Toy Story? You haven't mentioned that. That's got the people that are voting for Toy Story are voting for it in the first position. They are passionate about it. And, you know, if you don't need a lot of votes to sneak in, you know, if these other ones are cannibalizing each other, that little passion vote can take on some extra importance. It's a long shot, to be sure, but that would be the shock. I'm looking for what's the shocker, Tom? Shocker, Tom. We need a shocker <laughs> because we hit this. This can't go according to script. It can't be over with. You know, we're two days, three days here before the nominations now. It can't be over with already, right? Well, what are your shock roos? You, you did a whole thing on shock roos. Well, but, uh, right? I'm hesitant to, to say it because Sorry. this this video will be played all week, <laughs> and everybody who's watching it uh, on the internet will be a lot more wiser than we are because the nominations will be out there. So to prophesy that, 